बिस्मिल्लाम वेलकम बैक टू माई YouTube चैनल लास्ट टाइम वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट नेचुरल बॉन्टिंग ऑर्बिटल्स एंड देयर एनालिसिस सो नाउ वी मूव ऑन टू द न्यू टॉपिक इन कंप्यूटेशनल केमिस्ट्री दैट इज द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ एन एम आर न्यूक्लियर मैग्नेटिक रेजोनेंस सो टू कैलकुलेट द एन एम आर और एनी अदर प्रॉपर्टी Uh, first you should have the optimized structure so uh, for example i have this molecule uh, already optimized and uh, now i will uh, run its nmr calculation and uh, will teach you how to do that so first of all when you have the optimized structure just copy it you can press control c and then take a new file and here you just paste the structure just click or control v so now we have the optimized structure over here and uh, to run an nmr calculation it's very simple we just go to calculate gaussian calculation setup and then uh, from the drop down list on job type we select the nmr so we select nmr and then uh, we have different options uh, like if you want the gauge independent atomic orbitals method or uh, the other listed methods you can choose any of these methods uh, whatever you like uh, if you want to know more about these methods you can just google and you will find uh, the research articles about them and you will know what these methods really mean so um, if you want to compute the spin spin coupling constants as well for all the atoms you can tick this box and it you can see that it has added the spin spin option and now it will calculate the spin spin couplings for all the possible combinations of atoms so that calculation will take a long time uh, to run Uh, if you have to uh, calculate all the possible combinations of spin couplings so uh, we can also specify how to just calculate the proton coupling constants or uh, carbon and proton coupling constants uh, i'll i'll tell you later about that so now in the method section uh, whatever method you like you can choose it so we'll just go with the standard dft b3 leap and uh, a small basis set just to give it a test and uh, then title we can just give it any title like uh, nmr of uh, chloroacetic acid so now we go to link 0 and uh, uh, we can specify the number of processors we want to use and uh, now you can go to the solvation and you know that nmr is always taken in a solvent uh, so better to use a solvent model uh, whichever model you like i use smd model and then you can select the solvent in which you want to take your nmr let's Uh, let's take it in dms so you can definitely take it in any other solvent uh, you like so uh, now we'll submit the calculation i'll just click edit and save i'll just write down the nmr and save it close and let it run I'll close this one and wait for the calculation to finish. And here we go; it is finished. I'll just close it and uh, open the log file. Now, if you see in the results, you can see the NMR option. And when you come here. Uh, now you can see that it is showing all the peaks in the nmr spectrum so if i just want to see the hydrogen nmr or proton nmr uh, 
uh, I can select it here and it can show me the peaks but uh, if I want to you can see that the uh, chemical shift range is quite large uh, it's not actually the proton NMR range so if you want to just reference it with the TMS calculated at this level of theory you can uh, select that and now you can see that uh, the chemical shift ranges are uh, in the actual range so this is the reference which is already calculated at a different level of theory the best is uh, or what I would do always is to calculate the TMS at the same level of theory I used for this molecule and then uh, reference it manually in the Excel sheet so uh, and then you can uh, get the NMR chemical shifts uh, because this is a crude method uh, you can't really calculate your molecule at a different level and then TMS at a different level and then uh, see the difference uh, so there are other methods of referencing uh, which I'll tell in the next video so at the moment we can also go to the plots and uh, show shieldings in view which will show you the NMR uh, chemical shifts on the um, atoms in the view. So if you select carbon, you can see the carbon NMR. If you select all, you can see all the others like chlorine, oxygen, etc. as well. So that was about the calculation of NMR. This is pretty simple uh, method. Uh, and if especially if you have different conformers the NMR is a very sensitive property uh, if your molecule is flexible you need to consider all those conformers uh, for NMR calculation as well for example if your compound uh, has five or six low energy conformers you you take all those conformers run the calculation of NMR on them and then do a Boltzmann averaging on all those conformers. I'll I'll also tell how to uh, Boltzmann average uh, the NMR of different conformers in uh, in the next video. I I don't want to make this video so long, so I'll just close it up here. Uh, I hope you would have got how to run a basic NMR calculation in the Gauss uh, Gaussian, and then uh, take out its results. So thanks for watching, and bye bye.